Okay, so today, guys, we're back with another episode of Punt or No Pun, and we have peaked because today I am joined by the one and only Jarrett Man. Jarrett, hi, how are you doing today? Hey, Nick, how's it going? It's going really well. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Um, yeah, of course. Some people might not know about you. Um, if you could just briefly tell us a little bit about yourself and your career. Hi, so I'm Jared, man. I play online poker right now. Uh, before I was playing live poker, but right now I'm just playing online, really. Uh, I'm here to do some punt or no punt with some see it, man. spicy hands. Excellent stuff. Well, guys, if you don't know, I know Jared, man, from, well, obviously from the high stakes games, not that I play them or anything, but um, from his YouTube channel now, you might notice that today we don't have Jared's camera on, and that's because he, um, I think you've got a shit little camera that wasn't responding today. Um, yeah, I couldn't get it working. Which is totally fine. Um, what we do have instead is his little YouTube icon. Uh, and if you guys haven't seen Jarrett Man's YouTube, I would go as far as to say it's probably, off the top of my head, the best free poker learning content there is. Um, so what you should do, I'll leave a link down below, is if you haven't already, which you probably most of you will have done, but if you haven't already, make sure you go and subscribe to him on there. The videos aren't all that regular, but when they do come out, it's like christmas so make sure you guys go and do that as well i might make a new video soon you've inspired me excellent stuff well i'll i'll be the first <laughs> on the list so anyway we're playing punt or no punt today jared man without all that out the way um the rules if you guys are new a contestant today it's jared man will bring on seven hands and i will decide you guys love that part i will decide whether they're a punt or no punt and um at the end we'll have a winner either jared man is punting or you'll come out victorious today I am reliably informed, Jeremiah, you might want to talk about some of the hands that you brought on today. You've, you've brought a very particular selection for us. Yeah, I have. So I've brought hands that are all hands that I don't think you can easily check them with like a computer or solving software. Mm -hmm. So they're all going to be your opinion on whether they're actually punts. And people in the comments aren't going to be able to go and check them on the computer. So they're going to have their opinions as well. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So it's, it's definitely much more in my ballpark, guys, if you know the guy, kind of games that I play. I'm hoping for some uh, very juicy hands. And the last thing from me, guys, is to say, well, firstly, to ask Jarrett Man, I, I haven't actually seen any of these hands before. That is one of the, the, the main core principles of this show. Are you happy that I haven't seen any of these hands before, before we start? Yes, I am. But I don't think it would matter with these hands. Perfect. Um, and last thing from me, guys, as I always say, and seems to be getting more and more relevant every time I make a new one. Jaraman's just only a little bit better at me this game, and I will try to do let him do a lot of the talking. Now, obviously, I need to fill my way into the hand, guys, and make a decision for myself. So when I'm talking about the hand, I'm not trying to tell Jaraman what to do, as many of you guys think the seem that I do. I'm just trying to make a decision, and um, that's why I'll be talking, but I will be extracting as many nuggets as possible from the man himself. So... Yeah, I would like you to do most of the talking for the um, working out why or why not you think it's a punt, of course. And if I just Absolutely. if I just sit here and explain everything that I was thinking yep. during the hand, then it's yep. not quite as fun, I think. Absolutely. Well, I think that's everything. Without further ado, Jared, man, are you ready to play punt or no punt? Let's play. Let's do it. Okay, guys, the first hand we have King 10 of Spades. Um, I just want to say my light seems to be flickering in the intro there, guys. It's probably going to happen a bunch, but um, I hope you can ignore that. The production quality is a little bit lower today. Um, yeah, because I'm here. Because Jared Matt's here. <laughs> so we don't give a <laughs> shit about production quality. Anyway, we're opening King Ten of Spades under the gun, which seems fair, Jared. And we're not getting... A not a punt so far. We're getting three bet by Mr. Morilka, who I don't know, and then a cold call from Natino. So I would all automatically think that Natino is um, potentially weaker, unless Morilka is weaker, and then Natino is just getting involved. But then mainly you don't want to play so cold calls. Morilka calls, is not weaker. Okay. Uh, I think Natino's a wreck. Okay. Although, I don't think he's too crazy, to be honest. He's more on like the tighter side of a wreck, I think. Okay. But he's flicking in some cold calls. Yeah, he's flicking in some cold calls yeah. here. Like, um, give you some spoilers of what I think Natino is cold calling here. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be just like pocket jacks, tens, and nines. Okay. He can definitely have like suited Broadway, suited connectors, ace mm -hmm. five suited. But he's not going to have king seven off. Okay. No problem. He's not that type of player. Excellent. And uh, we have an option. Yeah. How do you feel about each? Mm -hmm. So the tighter that the cold caller calls, the less I like 4-betting. Mm -hmm. And the looser that he calls, the more I like 4-betting. Okay. Um, 
King 10 is kind of in no man's land here because it's a bit of a disaster if the big blind has reshoves. Mm -hmm. And it's a bit of a disaster if we get five better or or rejammed on by Marilka. Yeah. But we're a little bit covered here because they're both a bit deeper. Yeah. So Marilka does have to worry a little bit. It's not like Natino okay. can't potentially flat like a really strong hand here some of the time. I've seen it before. Like it, it's not absurd for him to maybe sometimes have aces or kings. Okay. So either one's fine. Right. I really do think that if Natino was a bit looser, I would lean towards four betting, but I think I lean towards calling with him being a little bit on the tighter side. Okay. I I think call is is would be my preferred option as well, but I'm a massive nit, so you know. I was just making sure. Um, 10 deuce, queen, flush draw. And we have a backdoor flush draw. And Tina goes for a check. And I imagine we are going to check. Yeah, I don't think we can ever lead here. Our range yeah. is pretty weak considering the price we were getting. We have a very, very wide range here. Yeah. Um, and Marilka goes for a third in position, which is fairly normal. Natino folds. And we have probably another option, but I prefer calling. Do you want to maybe talk about the possibility of a raise? Yeah, so it's an interesting spot because if we were heads up, we do have a lot of raises on this board mm -hmm. because we have a lot of incentive for a lot of our hands to just start raising and to start folding, really. Um, sure. But now Marilka, I don't think, can even range bet this board with Natino cold calling. Okay. So he's got a bit of a stronger range, I think. Mm -hmm. At least at least he should. Yeah. Um, like he, It's not an auto C-bet spot even if we were heads up. But when we're three ways with the cold collar in there, like the cold collar can have queens, the cold collar can have tens, the cold collar can have ace queen. Um, so I, I kind of prefer the, the raises to have like more equity or less equity, I think. Yeah. I would agree. Uh, just just in general here, I, I, I don't think we want to use too much of this as a raise on the flop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, um, obviously, the value of, of your hand goes down drastically three way, and Marilka should be obviously betting tighter than he normally would. If it was heads up, so yeah. Call. Yeah. I don't think it's obviously pr way too premature to fold. So I think so far we're we're in agreement. Yeah. Nine of hearts, and we have another check. Um, and Marilka checks behind. So, do you ever expect him? Do you, do you ever expect him to check back like sets and like King Jack here, or do you expect him? I don't to think he should do much checking back with those types of hands okay. and if he is supposed to i don't expect that he will um okay. Fair. i think this turn card is pretty decent for my calling range mm -hmm. it's it really connects with a lot of the hands that want to call because even if we had a hand like king queen or king jack we picked up a gut shot um and he has to, he has to be a little bit careful like 10 9 gets there king jack gets there both hands that we can have mm -hmm. we can even have pocket nines with the diamond some of the time i think although that would be a bit of a loose call on the flop considering it was three ways sure i think that he's got to be really careful and i don't i wouldn't be surprised to see him check back a hand like ace queen or aces on the turn here yeah i think not, that's very not fair not straights not straights or sets i don't think mm -hmm. um do you have like queen 10 here at all like how strong yeah we can have queen 10 sometimes yeah. i think queen 10 we're still gonna want to have raises on the flop yeah we still have pocket twos and pocket tens mm -hmm. and queen 10 that just really want to raise the flop and okay. we're gonna raise some of our combo draws some of our flush draws some mm -hmm. of our straight draws so our best hand here we, i mean we have the nuts and we also have some pocket nines you reckon as well um, and maybe some queen 10 uh, yeah, flop. i don't know if i would actually call pocket nines with a diamond on the flop like if we were heads up i think it's it's like yeah. okay as a call even then it's kind of not great because mm -hmm. when king because when you hit a nine king jack gets there so yeah it's not super super fun sure um the main thing that we that we have in, in our favor is our is the four combos of king jack that we always have i would think unless you do any check raising with like king jack of so... diamonds and spades on flop yeah we, we would definitely raise some king jack on the flop um and we might even four bet some king jack pre uh pre-flop as well okay like i i don't think i'm gonna play like even this hand i think i would have rolled it pre-flop like i think we're gonna do both so it's not like we have all the king jack we're gonna fold king jack off as well mm -hmm. pre-flop so so we're not doing exceptionally well then really no we are we are because if we think about the hands that chuck call the flop yeah this turn is still decently good for us. It's not. It's not like we're absolutely crushing him. Yeah. But it's definitely 
it interacts with our hands because like even now like this is one of the worst hands i can have and it's still a pair plus a gut shot okay sure fair enough Rue is another nine and i can't think why we would bet considering what we spoke about on the turn that you expect him to check back aces and like and like queen x a bunch mm. um i think this makes sense as a check um and i don't really think that we can make him fold by well fold a better hand than this by betting I so i think checking is just, just i mean we could go all in we could go all in <laughs> we still might have but, a uh... chance to do that <laughs> um <laughs> marilko goes for half pot do you want to talk about or just a little bit over do you want to talk about what you expect his range to look like now when he gets to I expect I expect the value bets here are going to be very queen x oriented and maybe mm -hmm. some like aces um potentially even like kings to check back the turn. It's a little we it's it's a bit of a weird bet size because I I think like anything that wants to bet half pot can bet a little bit bigger here, but I I'm not going to read too much into it. Like some people just bet half pot here mm -hmm. and so it's it's going to be like he's not saying he has a trap basically right when he bets half pot on the river unless it's something like queens or tens that blocks our calls yeah um i guess he could have that but he's really saying he has like ace queen okay yeah or aces or kings yeah aces kings or potentially like um ace king would be a very reasonable bluff something mm -hmm. like ace five of spades would be a very reasonable bluff something mm -hmm. like ace jack yeah well I didn't bet the turn because of the show that we're on Jarrett, I imagine we'll be wagering the money. No, we just folded next time. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're all in. Um, so what do we think about this? So um, what are your main value shoves going to be here that want to check turn and river? So I don't think I'm going to play any leads on the turn. Okay. So it would just be that we would call the flop and then now we're in the river. So we have mm -hmm. nine X of diamonds, okay. which is a hand like ace nine of diamonds mm -hmm. that might want to check raise the river at some frequency okay and then we have hands that really block him from checking back would be the hands that would want to check raise the river mm -hmm. so a hand like 10 nine that would be a really good one because he's gonna he might bet the flop check back the turn check back the river with the 10 yeah um we're also gonna check call the flop at like a low frequency with pocket tens mm -hmm. um so that might be one as well we're repping a very narrow range here basically Okay. Um, you mentioned that, that, that he you expect him to potentially have for this sizing pocket 10s is like one of his best hands. So having a 10 seems pretty good. Um, yeah. Having a king also quite good, but do you expect him to ever check back king jack on the turn? I'm not sure. Um, not really, no. I don't expect him to check back king jack very much on the yeah. turn. So it's nice to have a 10. Um, we can't, we wouldn't, I don't think we would ever bluff like a queen here, would we? Maybe, you, would you ever bluff like queen jack here? I mean, a queen is decent. Uh, yeah. what, what, I mean, I see no reason why you couldn't do it some of the yeah. time. Like, um, you're blocking pocket queens, which if he's going to check back any sets on the turn, it's mm. most likely going to be queens. Yeah. Um, like, I don't expect him to check back many sets on the turn. And again, like in practice, I don't expect people to like really ever check back sets, but he could have 10-9. I think 10-9 yeah. of spades is a hand that he might check back the turn with. Mm -hmm. Just because it's getting a little thin to bet the turn with 10-9. Sure. And then let's say the river's a brick. You don't even really want to go all in. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. I mean, what I'm, ba what I'm banging on about here really is that we need, we need to bluff something because we're going to have shoves for value. Yeah, it's just... So yeah, how do we, we feel are. about this combo? Um, I, I kind of like not having a queen because do we... I mean, what... Do you expect, do you expect him to fold ace-queen here? King-queen? Exactly, yeah. yeah. So, like, we... What I was again like, here, I'll let you go through it because what I was thinking in game is uh... yeah. I mean, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna kick off with a no punt. I think um, I I, I think we want to have a, a a ten and having a king just in case he did check back the nuts seems pretty good. Like check back the nuts on the turn. Um, I, I think having a not having a queen is maybe better because of um the ace queen prevalence that you, you we talked about and the reason why he would have more ace queen than maybe normal because we're not heads up on the on the flop um and checking back the turn for a bit of pot control so not having a queen and, and getting him to fold a queen when we have we have boats we have we have some trips um yep. we have probably king nine of diamonds as well but we may raise the flop with that but maybe not so yeah, we have some nine x of yeah. diamonds so basically we have like a, d a decent chunk of value so it's just whether this makes sense as a, as a shove and i think i i think i'm okay with this actually so i'm gonna go kick off with a no punt 
and then I'm going to let you talk a bit more about what you were about to say before, <laughs> before you Excellent. let me hang myself. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not sure if this is a punt or not. I okay. was thinking in game that uh, his main bet folds are like ace queen and aces because yeah. kings and king queen are more likely to bet the turn. Mm -hmm. So he on the river, I think having the king is fine. Yeah, because um, they haven't worked to you mean on the turn. Yeah, because just ace queen and and um, and aces are yeah. the ones that are more likely to check the turn because kings and king queen are actually better hands exactly they have more yeah. equity i mean yes ace queen and aces can get called by like when you compare kings to aces it's very obvious that kings is better than mm -hmm. aces but um ace queen can still get called by king queen so it's not as obvious mm -hmm. but i think i think like looking back at this hand i would have preferred to have jack 10 Okay. Maybe, but it, it it depends on whether or not which hands he's using as a bluff on the river, because he's gonna have ace king and ace jack to fold. So the question is whether or not I think that he's more likely to have ace jack or ace king by the river. Okay. And I, I'm kind of indifferent to it. I think it's fine. I think I wouldn't use this if I had ten. If I had king ten of hearts, I don't think I would go all in. So I don't. I don't yeah, mind this enough. hand. Is is there anything to be said just before we move on to the next hand for, for the fact that you know oh you think he would bet the kings more on the turn okay well i was just going to mention maybe he maybe calls bet, bet calls kings because he's going to bet the river with kings so having a king because because he blocks more of our value range i don't yeah, know because he, might, he, he might. he'll he'll bet call he'll bet fold ace queen and maybe aces and maybe bet call kings i mean i'm just thinking about another good reason to have a king very loosely sure yeah i mean we can never control what he's gonna sure. do in this spot yeah. and we're never actually gonna know nope. um but we definitely don't want to block the hands that are capable of bet folding. Cool. Yeah. Um, but we do want to block the hands. Like if he ever bets a 10 on the river, yeah. he's going to call. Yeah. Okay. Like if he ever has the 10 of spades in his hand, he's bet calling that hand. Because okay. he, has, he has no hands that are bet folding with the 10 of spades, right? Okay. Elaborate, please. Uh, <laughs> so name, name any hand he could have with the 10 of spades that's value betting the river. Because he would never bluff with the 10 of spades, right? Right. Okay. Um, yeah, he can't value bet ace 10. Jack 10. Yeah, 10, 10, 9, and 10s. Yeah, queen, queen 10. Yeah. Yeah, I so mean, yeah. Queen 10 seems a pretty good call. Yeah, 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 yeah you're right. Yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. So yeah. So the 10 is really good, but we have lots of hands with the 10. So mm -hmm. we have to be careful because otherwise we're just like, we're not repping too much value because yeah, no. even the value that we do have, some of that's going to want to bet ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we just got to be careful with the frequencies. Like, if I did this all the time with this combo, it's probably still too much. Okay. So. <laughs> well, I like it. Oh, we're kicking off with a no punt. Should we see if it gets through? Excellent. Nope. Let's see. So we're, we're looking... Yeah. Hopefully we get looked up by one of those big boy boats because otherwise we're, we're in trouble. Okay, well, he's never folding. <laughs> that, that is, Couldn't get him to fold that one. That is okay. <laughs> um, so we never mind when they call with something that they're allowed to call with. Um, yeah, if I got called by Ace Queen there, I would have felt a little bad. Yeah, I like his play. Me too. For the most part. Okay. You've that is hand number one. Very interesting start. Let's go and take another one. Okay, guys, hand number two with Jarrett up 1 0. And we've got King 7, and we're playing 1K. Um, and we're opening to 2.5 with the King 7. The button calls, um, which I imagine is just totally fine. I don't play any calls, but that's because the rake is extortionate. Um, Jarrett calls are just fine on the button here, I imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely you want calls. Mm -hmm. Multi way. I'm in my element, guys. <laughs> Just to give you some uh, some background here, the yeah. big blind is a fish and the button is a reg. Okay, reasonable. Um, Ace queen deuce and big blind check. So my people will know by now. Um, I check pretty much all the time out of position, but this is probably maybe one of the few balls that you would want to bet. Do you maybe want to talk yeah. a bit about how you would approach these spots? So if we were heads up, this would be one of the few boards where I would start building some bets, mm -hmm. um, if not just betting range for yeah. like small sizes, reasonable. Mm -hmm. So it's checking range, whatever. Like it's going to be a very small difference. Three ways it gets, uh, excuse me, three ways it gets a little bit more complicated. Mm -hmm. I think with the recreational in there, I'm more inclined to want to have a betting range. Okay. If this was three ways with regs in the big blind and the button, then I'm fine with even just checking range as a simplification. But with the with the fish and the big blind, I'm gonna want to have bets. Okay. 
So yeah, I do need to build a betting range, I think. Is that because you want to get value from your top pairs that might otherwise check if it was a reg in the big Yeah, player? I don't I don't want to check through when there's a, a reg in the, or a reg in the button and a mm -hmm. and a fish in the big blind because okay. the desirable thing to happen is for me to bet the reg folds and then the fish calls. Okay. Not necessarily like, with this hand. <laughs> no, not necessarily with this hand, but with Ace King or yeah, yeah, yeah. any you know, any of the assortment of hands that want to bet for some value. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, so you want to build a betting range. Do you, do you want to just be imbalanced towards value or do you want to include some stuff like this in that range? I think being, I think being imbalanced in this spot is completely fine. Yeah, I don't think you need to really worry. Like sometimes I worry too much about being balanced. Um, I think in this spot, there's nothing the button can really do, yeah. even if you are imbalanced. Because the exploit is that when you check, he would attack you a bit more. But with the recreational yeah, in there, sure. he has to be careful anyway. So. Makes a lot of sense, yeah. So we decided to put this into our betting range. Yeah. And we get a call, which is not what we wanted. <laughs> no. From the button. And the big blind already. folds. So we we got the opposite of what we wanted. Yeah, this is exactly um, the opposite of what we wanted. Yeah. Well, we wanted fold, fold. But here we are with <laughs> King 7. <laughs> and we'll yeah. see a turn. Um, 10 of clubs. So, interesting. Probably gonna wanna. I mean, I'm trying to think what he would flat the button with here. I don't think he wants to raise like anything because probably not. No. With a big blind, he wants him to get involved, doesn't he? So, um, I mean, some people would play raises here, but yeah. I, if I'm the button, I'm not gonna play any raises. Okay. Um, I I would agree with that. So we would probably, if we're gonna see about this, we're probably gonna have King Jack. Um, we're probably gonna have, well, obviously, still aces and queens. We're still gonna have deuces as well. Still ace deuce. We're doing pretty damn well. Um, yeah, we're doing we're doing okay. We were yeah. we we were doing better on the flop than we are now on yeah yeah in this spot though. Because he can have King Jack. Does he flat the button King Jack suited? Ah, uh, because he he can't call like any bad hands on this flop. Even yeah. With the even with the wreck behind, like he, mm. he 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 first of all he called pre flop with the wreck behind, so maybe he's a little bit wider. Mm -hmm. But once he calls this flop, like <laughs> yeah. his range is tight, tight, tight. Yeah. Um, even versus fourth. Well, he has like. Some like ace eight suited, ace nine suited, stuff like that. Sure. Yeah, he'll have some some, but an ace is a pretty strong hand here. Mm -hmm. Do you think you'll ever have like king queen or queen jack on the flop with backdoor? Yeah, push? absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. He'll have um, like he's gonna have every Broadway. Mm -hmm. He'll have every like every available straight draw he's gonna have. So four five and every straight draw jack ten king jack mm -hmm. um king ten. Uh, he could maybe even float the like the weakest he could ever float. I think would be a hand like king five of uh clubs. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Like that. Even that, I don't know. I don't know if he would actually float that. Interesting. Uh, maybe maybe threes, fours, and fives could get in there as a float as well. Mm -hmm. Because those are the pairs that he can call the flop and use on future streets as bluffs. Um, they have nice unblockers. Fair enough. How do you feel about barreling this then? Sounds uh, like you're not a fan. <laughs> Everything you said sounds little, like you're not a fan, but... <laughs> no, I mean, I think barreling this is fine. Okay. I think we do want to have bets still mm -hmm. on the turn. Like, we have, a, we have a portion of our range that wants to bet. I just think that it's not as uh, attractive as a spot as the flop is because, like, he, he doesn't have too many hands that don't connect with this board. Yeah. It's not a reason, you know, that's not a reason for us to not bet sometimes. Like, we still have hands that want to bet. Yeah. Um and in using using a hand like King Seven is I think okay some of the time. Okay. I mean one thing I would say is that when I see a reg bet into what both regs know is a fish multi way, I expect them to like we like we sped up said on the flop, we don't mind being imbalanced. I expect yeah. you to be betting more stronger hands. So For sure. Even if he has some like strong like, you know, he's got some like King Queen, maybe he's got some Ace Nine, maybe he's got some Queen. 10 even i mean if we bet again i don't think he's like thrilled <laughs> by no, any means no he's so. not no definitely definitely he's not thrilled yeah anyway let's put some money in then on that note <laughs> so we go for a bet which i think is okay we're also you know we have a we have a king which is blocking the nuts which is not nothing i guess um but i would expect him mainly to three bet king jack suited and not call on the button with king jack off so it depends. Yeah, it depends on the on the player. Um, I think King Jack off will call sometimes. Okay. Um, at, at five ten rake. Um, and I think with the wreck behind, 
he can definitely flat King Jack on the button. I don't think it's that crazy to... Okay. Uh, Fair enough. But yeah, he'll three bet sometimes, call sometimes. He'll have both. So our King is is somewhat relevant as a as a blocker. Uh, King is like, whatever. Yeah. He will call here... All the, he was never going to raise this turn, ever, is he? I don't think so, again, because like the only hand that wants to raise is King Jack. Yeah. Um, which he does have. Mm -hmm. But like... The, the, the other hand that would want to raise is if he's playing no raises on the flop, pocket twos might Deuces, want to raise yeah, the sure. turn. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, he doesn't have many tens. I think even with the recreational behind, he's not really going to call too many tens on the button. Uh, although he might, and then he would float the flop. So maybe tens, maybe deuces. Um, Ace 10, Queen 10 don't really want to raise this turn. So no. it's a very small range. If he does start raising, he's got to find some bluffs as well. I'm really not sure what they're going to be. I mean, you can find some bluffs. You just turn the hand like King-10, queen, King-Queen, Queen-Jack, those okay. types of hands. Cool. Um, he calls, which I think is very normal. Ugh. Brick. And, <laughs> well, do we want to barrel here? Do you want to speak about whether you, might, whether you want to barrel here or whether you would maybe consider check shoving? Like, what's your, what are your options here? Uh, if we're going to check shove, I don't think it's going to be this hand. Okay. I think if we check, it's to check fold and just like to check give up, which a portion of our range is going to need to do. We're going to have lots of hands that are air by the river here. And mm -hmm. he called twice, so his range is just a lot stronger um, okay. than ours. Uh, so we're going to have to have give ups. We're going to have to have hands that just check and never win any portion of the pot. And that's fine. I really feel like this um, needs to be in there, <laughs> in, in, the, in the check fold <laughs> category. Well, I mean, what do we, what do we want to use as a bluff on the river? Because we're going to have King Jack. Yeah. Right, like we have all the king jack. Um, that bets, like I'm gonna play a lot of bets on this flop, basically. And if I have king jack, I feel it's gonna get in there. Yeah. Most of the time, like I don't even know if I'm gonna play any checks on the flop. I mean, I guess I could. You could again play like that unbalanced checking range where you're yeah. just like always check folding. And I'm just not sure how I feel about having a seven. Yeah, I mean the seven is just the uh, kind of just like an unblocker or just kind of yeah. like. The only hand that you're blocking that might fold with the seven is a seven suited. Yeah. Which is still a decent frequency three bet pre flop. Um, if you're playing, you know, GTO ranges, it's three betting mm. a lot more than it's calling. But again, with the recreational, he might be inclined to call more often. And probably a turn fold. I don't know. A seven might be one of the hands that gets into the turn fold. Yeah. yeah. So, like the seven, I would say the seven isn't super relevant. Mm -hmm. um, Was, could we not just have like yeah. king queen or. King 10? Are these not better hands to choose? Yeah, how often do you bet the turn with those? Well, I, uh, yeah, that's true. So, um, uh, should we put some... Should we... I mean, I think this is happening, yeah. <laughs> I thought... Because you said you weren't going to check shove and we're on punt and no punt, so I imagine we were wagering the lot. Um, yeah, we definitely want to split the river here. I think we want to have all-in for our King Jack, and okay. then we want to have non-all-in for non-King Jack. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I think I'm going to go with punt on this one. Um, reason being, the the recreational just changes everything about the hand. Like, he he just is is well, apart from the fact that he is going to three bet, you know, the strong sets. He just has very very good hands. He has the nuts. He has two pairs, a bunch. Um, he has bottom set because I don't think he. I, I, don't, mean, I think it's bottom set might raise the turn. Two pairs are the types of hands that are going to fold the river. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he, 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 you're saying that he's going to need to defend, like, I don't think he was going to raise ace-10 or queen-10. So he's going to need to find a call with those. You're saying he want to target those then. I mean, when I go all in, I'm saying I have king-jack or a yeah. bluff. Yeah. So he might, he might even want, prefer a hand like ace-jack to call than ace-10. Right. Um, Fair now, enough. Now, when we, when we bet the river... I think a king might be better to have than a jack because I do think there's potential for him to have a hand like jack nine of backdoor that floats the flop, calls the turn, and folds the river. Right. Um, and he does have more jack x um, folds on the river except for ace jack. So like queen jack and jack 10 might call the turn, fold the river, where he just doesn't have as many king queen and king 10 because they three bet more pre. But again, that this is all kind of wishy washy because mm. there's the recreational in there. Yeah. And we the don't know we don't know exactly what he's doing pre flop. Yeah. Um Exactly. I mean, what what should we what should we use as a bluff on the river if for <laughs> our all in size? I mean, I probably would say King Ten. 
I mean, I, I don't know if I would find the bet with King-10 on the turn. I think it's fine some of the time to bet King-10 on the turn. But then you're saying you want him to have two pairs with, with a 10 in them because you want them to fold those, right? Yeah, I think those are the types of hands that would fold to the all-in, where hands like... Like, they'll call some of the time, but yeah. they're also going to fold some of the time. I think a hand like Ace-Jack would just be like a, a really nice call. Um, Although I can... I can have bluffs with the jack too, so it's a it's a pretty much a toss up, right? Yeah, I mean, the more you talk about it, the more I'm I'm I am f feeling the allure of the decision, but I still think I'm going to go with punt because I just think that the guy, like I expect when we bet into into that in it, on the in the three way flop into a reg and a, a, a recreational in the big blind, I think that we're just going to look pretty strong, and he's called a flop with the recreational behind, and then a big turn barrel. Um, you're saying it doesn't matter because, you know, he has all these hands that we can yeah, get Yeah, we fold. do look pretty strong, right? Yeah, so we look incredibly strong, bluff, yeah. Right? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> we look really strong, I mean... But, like, if we do this with, like, king five, king six, king, you know, eight, do we just, like, are we just all over the place here? So because... I don't think I would use king six and king five, uh, just because... A king six would be fine, but I don't think I would use king five just because I think he does just naturally have a higher weighting of potential hands that could have a five, like ace five. Again, it, it really depends on which hands he's three betting compared to calling uh, preflop. So mm. it doesn't really matter, actually. No, like the the point is that all of this would be low frequency because like our shoving sure. <laughs> our shoving range on the river is basically, like I said, just king jack. Like maybe you want to shove with tens that bet the flop as well but mm -hmm. really you're just saying you have king jack yeah. so that's not going to be our most used size like okay. our most used bluffing size on the river is going to be something like block maybe or something something smaller than all in because we want to be able to bet hands that you know get called by worse and mm -hmm. this one we're just saying we have king jack so yeah if, you, if you're doing this at any sort of high frequency with these types of hands you're going to be way over bluffing like way 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 over bluffing right I mean, I'm going with punt. Um, All right. I, I, I think I, it's a punt, too. I, I think there's a hand. <laughs> you I would... think there's a hand, uh, there's a hand that we should use that's just better than King-7. It's the only hand we need to bluff for, for the size on the river. Which is that, Jack? What do you think? Uh, well, we want, we want to have... A... A, it's not a hand with a queen or a 10 or a, or a jack in it. Oh, it's not? No. I mean, mate, I just don't have a fucking clue. Don't I think we would just me. use King-2 suited. King two suited to block mm -hmm. deuces. Okay. Yeah, because I think he can absolutely still have deuces and absolutely mm -hmm. call the river with deuces. Um, okay. Yeah. It I might block some ace deuce though. Two. That he yeah, ace deuce. Yeah, ace deuce might call and fold. Mm. Like, at least you're not. At least like the two is doing something. Yeah, exactly. Whereas this, and like because we're shoving so narrow here, mm -hmm. like just so so narrow you don't have to include a lot of bluffs like you might even have just one portion of a portion of a combo to, to yeah. go all in here i think yep that seems reasonable i'm going i am sticking to my to my punt here i think this is yeah, thoroughly, I think this thoroughly one's, unnecessary i think this but, one's a punt. yeah anyway can we get it through though that would be nice it's, it doesn't matter if it gets through how about that um i imagine well King Jack and Deuces are the main things that we're expecting to get called by when we 4x pot shove the river or whatever this is. What a life. Yeah. Yeah, so having a deuce seems pretty pretty good. Yeah. Um, yeah, so King Deuce of Hearts so, yeah, and King Deuce of Time. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Just King Deuce. I yeah. don't think we need to shove anything besides King Deuce. And I think yeah. we can absolutely bet the flop bet to turn with King Deuce, where I don't think we do it as much with King 10. Mm hmm. I don't even think he's in love with his life here. Remotely. No, no, he, he tanked. I remember this hand. He tanked yeah. like full time bank and then called at the last second. I was like, damn. Yeah, oh, that's brutal. I mean, I just look at your screen and be like, well, I guess I call. <laughs> hey, he's not in a great spot with deuces, right? Like, no, no, let's sure pretend not. I was, let's pretend I was playing the spot better and I just, yeah. my bluffing range is King Deuce. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's not, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah, definitely. Well, not I, a great spot. I respect the heart and commitment. I mean, this is, this is what Partner No Punt's all about, this kind of hand. So I appreciate yeah. bringing it on. Um, the problem is, is like um, King Deuce is only like a partial open from the cutoff at five ten rake. Also, yeah. so maybe so, we don't have enough bluffs based on how much King Jack we have because we have shitloads of King Jack. Yeah, we do have a decent amount of King Jack, that's for sure. Yeah, or maybe King Seven gets in there. Who knows? But we'll never know. It's one one. 
we can't even we can't even we don't there's no way of knowing <laughs> that's no, why these are so even fun if you ran this if yeah. you ran this three ways it wouldn't be accurate because yeah. the ranges are a bit different with the recreational in there yeah nice well you ready for hand number three one one mm -hmm. let's go okay here we are with hand number three we've got ace king good hand we've just been talking about has a good hand in the break um and we are going to open the button to 50 which looks good um Oh, I'm glad it's against Moon. Moon Star is the only one that I knew from the table. I mean, I don't. I just know him from like a few reviews that like uh, Sherdog's done on his channel. Yeah, this is a, this is a reg game. I remember this game. Yeah, uh, there was a a table with a recreational, and this was the waiting list. Mm -hmm. uh, Munistar Star is a high stakes like crusher. Yeah, so uh, this one Uber should genius. be fun. Uber genius. Uber yeah. genius. <laughs> well, it's a good job that we're also an Uber genius. <laughs> Let's have a go. Uh, um, Munistar Star is a fair fair bit better than me. Oh yeah. Well, we'll play. We'll play a spicy hand here. Well, we've got two thousand two hundred dollars effective in front of us, so let's have a go, huh? Moon of Star three bets, and we have uh, off the top of my head an option, but mostly mm -hmm. four bet. Uh, I think it's still like mostly call, but yeah, four bet. Uh, it might even be like half the time. Okay. We four bet, which is very reasonable, and Moon of Star calls. Uh, so we're a tiny bit deeper. Um, which leaves 1.8 so, yeah. effective. This is, uh, not to spoil too much, but this is the only heads-up hand of the uh, of the hands that I sent you. Okay. And the reason that this one can't really be ran is... Uh, you'll see. Let's have a look at the flop. Queen 9-3. I guess we're going to have some donks that aren't available in Pyo or something. That's what I'm expecting. But I don't expect Moon to start to donk this board. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's, right, that's okay. what happens. I'm a genius. I'm also a genius. You nailed it, man. Three geniuses, man. Um, <laughs> right. So this is now just not a thing, right? So what is he doing? Talk to me. So there is donking available on some queen high textures in this spot, and it has to do with the fact that Big Blind has a higher concentration of ace queen than the button does. Um, but this board, it just wasn't really a thing. Like, the okay. most I could ever get it to do was, like, 3%, but... You know, Munis Star maybe knows better than me, and he's not losing any EV by donking some hands on this board. So there's right. potential that he's doing it as an exploit as well, mm -hmm. um, because he can navigate this spot better than most players. And for example, I've never seen this spot before, so maybe I, I don't know what the hell's going on. Right. Fair <laughs> Which enough. I don't. I mean, and there's also maybe something to be said for the fact that um, he's just maybe doing this to put you in an uncomfortable situation, and he understands exactly. this a little bit better than you do. Um, exactly, yeah. Because I know that Clancy will make it like two big blinds rather than the standard 2.5 just to fuck with people because <laughs> he sure. understands it really well. And yeah, they... and like, but the, the way to exploit him if he's doing this is usually not in the donking line, it's usually in the line that he checks. Okay. And like, the only way to, to do that is to have like, to do it with any sort of confidence is to have a sample of which hands he's donking and not. So like sure. it's it's never gonna happen because this spot I'm probably never gonna play against Muna Star in this spot again in my whole life. Yeah, yeah. So like there there really is no potential to exploit him for doing this, even though it's not really a thing. Fair enough. And just touching on the ace queen ace queen thing that you said, that's because we mostly call versus three bet ace queen, and he almost always yeah, just calls we would, versus we four bet. Never we would never four bet ace queen suited because we don't want to four bet call and we don't want to four bet fold. Mm -hmm. You know, like it's kind of shitty to four bet ace queen and then he jams and we have to fold. Like that's a disaster. But we would four bet some ace queen off, but sure. not a lot. Not a lot. Like yeah. Maybe half, yeah, maybe like lower than half the amount. Yeah. So he just has a higher concentration of ace queen, which is a. He has it a pure, right? Deal. Yeah, he would have all the ace queen pure versus the mm -hmm. size that I went. Mm -hmm. um, the bigger that I go, like if I start going huge, he doesn't really start. Like you could see some folds with ace queen, but. Mm -hmm. yeah he just has more ace queen right with that covered we we're now in a very uncomfortable situation i like call um do you want to talk about your options here i don't know my options here man yeah <laughs> well, <laughs> i mean obviously we can we can raise our call i don't think we would yeah. ever fold ace king yeah it's just a little bit too strong yeah we will have to have folds here just because we just have to we have hands like king six suited that four bet and now you know like king six of diamonds what are yeah. we going to do with that we're just going to fold mm -hmm. um it's also very cheap yeah it's a it's a reasonable price it's like mm -hmm. exactly one quarter yeah. i think I'll, I'll take a call nice I'm, yeah i think raising is is 
okay. Like, we do yeah. double block ace queen and king queen suited. Mm -hmm. So that's reasonable, right? That's one, that's a consideration with our ace king here because while he does have all the ace queen in both variations, like yeah. suited and offsuit, uh, he never has king queen off. So we would prefer to have not the king of clubs. Right. Understood. Yep. Makes sense. So raising okay, calling obviously fine, folding potentially, but probably too premature. I think it's too premature to fold yep. this. Right. Turn card then, please, dealer. Okay. <laughs> um, I imagine for the reasons that you expected Moonestar to have donked the flop, he will also be paying the turn. Yeah. Um, why, why would you think that? Well, because if he's donking the flop because of his uh, Queen X region that you don't have, then... I mean, he's just turn card is just great for him, right? Not that we don't have turn some queen turns. Turn card would be bad for him. It removes queen x in his range. Right, but does he just like, still not just have more queen x than we do? He does, but he also now just has less ace queen because the queen is on the board, so he just has less combos available of ace queen. Right. And what queen x do we have? Uh, we have the ace queen that four bet pre, the king queen off that four bet pre. And then just the very, very low frequency of random Queen X, like the low suited Queen X that gets mixed into the four betting range. So not a lot. Okay. So he's still doing better in the trips advantage, but this just removes combos of Queen X in his range. So it actually weights him more towards hands that aren't Queen X. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, sure. Um, Queen 10 and Queen Jack, he's going to have more than us as well? Like some suited Queen Jack? Yeah, way, yeah. way, way more. He'll yeah. have those pure. Yeah. Uh, that's what I was thinking when I saw the turn. I was like, okay, this is pretty good for him. But like you, you're saying, it's less now, well, like, less likely that he has these hands. Think about, think about our range when we call the flop. Do we ever really have aces and kings when we just call the flop? Not versus that sizing, I guess, no. Not, not much, right? Like maybe yeah. we call aces like some of the time. So yeah. when the turn is a deuce, his ace queen is a stronger hand than when it's a queen. Right. Right, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Understood. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we have another decision. I imagine because of what you were talking, I mean, having the, the, uh, offsuit King Queen blocker, you're still pretty big fan of. I mean, we'd rather, yeah, we'd rather have yeah. the, um, King of Hearts here than the King yeah. of Diamonds or King of Clubs for sure. Yeah. Um, and yeah, having an ace again, still pretty, pretty relevant. Um, another good price. And I imagine yeah. Moonstar being a god. He's going to have some some bluffs here, so maybe we just want to. Well, definitely, him. yeah. I, I wouldn't be calling the flop even if I think that my opponent wouldn't have some uh, some bluffs. McMunistar will find bluffs here, even if even if something is not allowed. He's definitely going to have a range that concludes, you know, bluffs and, and mm -hmm. value bets. Um, Absolutely. The ace the ace blocks ace queen, but it also blocks some bluffs, just because the way that ranges work pre flop, a lot of his air hands will contain an ace, and if he is playing a range of donk and then bet on this card i imagine some hands will have an ace in it that are bluffing um okay. so yeah i i don't know what to do on the turn here what do you um, make of his sizings i think that the flop if he's going to donk he can only donk small even though it's not really a, a thing it just i just think that that's the way that it has to work yeah and then on the turn i think he bet a little too small okay I think that, like, because he's saying now on the turn, I get that it's a four bet pot and, like, we only have one pot left behind, but it doesn't really matter. Like, he's repping a queen, so I think, like, slightly bigger makes more sense. But okay. again, I don't know. This is not, this is a non spot, and he yeah. probably knows a lot better than I do. I mean, that's what I was thinking, right? Like, if he's going to be just betting <clears throat> queen X and then air, like, what, what, like, he's not going to bet, like, pocket tens, is he? He's not going to donk pocket tens. So, like, he either has a queen or. Yeah, he might do. I don't know. I really, really, Who knows? really don't know. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> but again, we have some pretty good blockers, and I imagine we'll continue. And I don't want to raise, so let's call. Sounds good to me. Let's see, though. I would have loved a double pump fake rip min raise there. <laughs> <laughs> Seven of think, hearts. Yeah, min raise would be interesting, but it's I don't know how much that exists. Seven of hearts changes nothing. Yeah, it's pretty much a brick, right? Like, if he if he somehow had maybe, like, 6-7 suited that was donking the flop at the turn, now he he gets there in a way that he'll check and beat us um, if we mm -hmm. check back. Yeah. But otherwise, yeah, just pretty much a brick. 
So a pretty big brick. We've called two donks. Moonstar is all in. Moonstar is all in. And we are Jarrett Man. On the button. With Ace High. <sighs> Seems like a shit spot. Yeah. Who, who, do you want to go first or should I go first? <laughs> you go first because right. I don't know. Okay. So, I mean... For... <laughs> If you don't know, mate, then let me tell you something. I don't know. Um, like, I tried to run this hand, and by the point it got to the river, like, the combos were so narrow that it wasn't even worth looking at. Right. My thoughts are that much of what I, the, the, the path I was taking on the turn, I expect him to want to bet. I mean, I cannot imagine something weaker than a queen wanting to do this to value. It just is pretty nuts yeah, to me. His range is a yeah. queen or a bluff. Yeah, basically. so he's saying he has a queen. We have some pretty good removal to his Queen X region, but don't... Decent removal, yeah. yeah. But we don't block the, the Queen 10, Queen Jacks that he certainly will have. Um, What's he going to use as a bluff? I think that's the most important yeah, consideration. Yeah, I mean... Because he every, every potential call that we're going to make here blocks some portion of his Queen X. Um, so the question is, like, what is he bluffing? Well, I'm thinking, like... Well, he's going to want to block some of your... I mean, what are you? What are you gonna get here with that cause? Like, good does he question, Nick. I don't know. <laughs> because you don't. If you if you're gonna raise the flop with like aces and kings, he might think, well, he just doesn't have those to call with. They make sense as calls, obviously. Um, what, what... I mean, aces and kings here. The only way there would be a better call than ace king is if it blocked more queen x. Because again, he's saying he has a queen or a bluff. So all of our and like ace king beats all the bluffs, and so does kings and aces. Yeah. Like, I don't think They're he the takes same. this line with aces. Because, like, aces is the one no. trap he can have pre-flop, and I don't think this this is the line he takes with aces. Although, I could be wrong. I really don't know. Yeah. I'm just worried that, like, when he bets small on the flop and you don't raise, he's like, well, well like, I'm all in then. Because, like you said, on the flop, like, when, am I ever going to just call here with aces and, and kings? So, like, what is our best hand here? Very low frequency, like, ace-queen. Yeah, and we don't have that very much. Yeah. Um. So... I mean, maybe he could shove thin as well. Like, yeah. if that if that's the logic, what's stopping him from just shoving like a hand like tens and jacks, like that called preflop and donk mm. the flop? I like, wonder. Those hands would probably still bet the turn for quarter, wouldn't they? Mm. Yeah. I wonder whether I'm, I'm just trying to think like how often we want to call here and whether we have any better hands to call with. Uh, this obviously makes sense because we do block two. Well, we have, we block quite a few combos of his main value. Is this how would you feel about like this hand compared to like pocket jacks that double blocks the suited queen jack? I think pocket jacks that double blocks the suited queen is a double edged sword because like I think his bluffing region will contain that as well. Like when he's like bluffing, 10? he doesn't Yeah, when he's bluffing, he doesn't care about blocking Queen Jack and Jack Ten himself because we never have those hands. Right. So the Jack X that he uses doesn't influence which pocket jacks we call with. So pocket jacks that double blocks the queen is just strictly better than pocket jacks that doesn't double block the queen. Because his bluffs don't have combo considerations for our queen X. Right. So okay. yes, I think pocket jacks does block some bluffs, but having the one that double blocks the queen, that's only one combo. And yeah, sure, we can call that. Um, I think that would be better. Uh, the, now the question is, like, pocket jacks that single blocks the queen, is that a better call than ace-king? Um, I just don't. I just don't know. Do you know? No, I have no idea. <laughs> um, Good luck, man. Fuck. Maybe Muna Star knows because I really don't know. Do I wonder if I wonder if you we should get him on the show next and ask him? Yeah, well, I, I wouldn't even know where to begin. Um, <laughs> I wonder if we block any bluffs, and I don't think we do, which is good. We do. We block bluffs. Which bluffs do you, do you think he has with a? King he could knows. have ace five. He could have uh, ace ten suited, ace jack suited, maybe. Um, it really depends on what he's donking on the flop. Ace four suited that didn't jam pre. Ace five suited that didn't jam pre. Um, yeah. Why would he donk ace, ace five suited and then bet the turn? I mean, the turn is still like. I want to go back to what I said on the turn because this turn is still good for him. Right. Like, because like you said, you you identified it correctly. That the turn is still good for him because it's still a queen. Um, so if he has a hand like ace five, it's you don't like in this spot, you're not always just betting hands that have equity, I think. Okay. You're just kind of betting hands. Like ace five has properties of it doesn't block the hands that I can call the turn with and then fold the river. 
let's say I have king jack off. That's a very reasonable hand to call the flop, call the turn versus quarter, and then fold the river. Mm -hmm. And then the five doesn't block any of our folds, um, just because we don't have a portion of our range that contains a five. I think ace five would be a very reasonable hand to for him to show up with here, um, assuming that he finds the bet on the turn. Is he more Again, likely to have that or like jack 10? Because I feel like just ace five is just like fucking no hell. No clue, mate. I have absolutely no clue. It, it, it all depends on what he's donking the flop with. I think the turn, anything that he donks the flop with can find a bet on the turn. Uh, I wonder if jack 10... Oh, fucking hell. I'm all over the place here, mate. I'm not going to lie to you. Let me just see how this goes. I wonder if jack 10 for him... If we think that Jackson maybe 10s, they're similar in their queen x removal right as if long he as was they double block the queen yeah yeah so say for example yeah because, and also he's going to have um like jack, because the queen is a rainbow on the turn he's gonna if, say for example he had like jack 10 of spades or jack 10 of hearts those would make i maybe maybe those would make good shoves for him or triple offs because we maybe want to have pocket tens that include a heart and pocket jacks that include a heart in our calls because if we don't raise the flop we have much less of our i mean would you raise the flop with ace queen i think some of the time yeah. raising the flop with ace queen so makes some sense if we raise the flop with ace queen kings aces suddenly jacks and tens become some of our very best hands and our best call yeah. downs because of his uh, because of we we block his strongest value yeah so yeah. maybe like jack 10 hands, suited best is hands linearly doesn't matter it's right. only like the best hands blocker wise here do you see what I'm saying though? Like yeah. maybe that would make a, make sense because he expects you to have those as your yeah best Again, cooldowns. Like it's a, it's like a double edged me. swords with those hands because like those are the ones the ones like let's say you had jack of spades, jack of hearts. Yeah, he would prefer to bluff with hands that contain the jack of spades or jack of hearts because those are the ones that call because those are the ones that block queen jack suited. <laughs> right. So it's like I I don't really don't know I, I completely don't know. I'd... I have no idea. I imagine that we have to call this at some frequency, is my guess. But I, I have, I have absolutely no idea. I desperately want to flick this in, <laughs> so badly. Um, and I actually think, because of my, I mean, look, look, Jarrett. All I'm capable of is my own thought process. I am, I am think, I want to say that having jacks and tens may be worse because i expect him to follow through with them sometimes or maybe he follows through with like jack eight or like ten eight or something like that so i think i would rather not have the tens and the jacks that block the queen before, i would rather before have before you finish right like what are what are our snap folds on the river <laughs> our snap folds well i don't think we call yeah. the turn with jack 10 because uh we don't really four bet jack 10 that much right okay so i king king jack and king 10 are our snap folds. yeah okay so so he doesn't want to have those I mean, but Fuck's it's impossible. Sake, for, no, it's impossible for him not to block some portion of our folding range in this spot. Just the way that preflop ranges work, you don't call low cards in the in a four bet pot. Usually, you just both players mostly have high cards because it's a four bet pot. We made a lot of we made the pot very big preflop. But would you call so, the turn? I don't think you'd call the turn with King Jack, which makes Jack ten. I think a you have to. He only bet a quarter. Did he? I think I would have called the turn, but I don't know if you need to. You bet about, yeah, you bet a quarter. I don't think I'd call the turn with... Ki I mean, it, it kind of boils down to whether he expects you to defend King Jack on the turn, whether Jack tends to follow... Fuck, I don't know, man. Look, <laughs> do you know what? I, I, I fucking call. I call. All right, all right. No pun. I call. I call. All right. Show it to me, Moon and Star. <laughs> do you think it's a fair no pun, or what do you think? I, I just need to flick this no in, man. Clue, man. I'm I going think... with my Jack 10 bullshit line thing as my... As, I like having... I don't think... Ace five is as likely as Jack ten. That's why I'm I going rolled, no punt. I rolled super high in game, but I time banked out like uh, all the way to the end because I had absolutely no idea. I couldn't think of any like reasons to call or fold more so than not. I mean, so, it starts I just putting an I rolled super spot. high. It's like if I really, really don't know a spot and I think it's like super close, mm -hmm. I'll just go with what what I rolled. Like, right. Even as something as simple as fifty fifty. Yep. Well, I fucking call Jarrett, man. All right. Can we, can we imagine how how awful our life is if we just get shown queen ten? <laughs> That'd be awful. Right, Jack ten one time, Moonstar. Oh, so he had a bit of both. Oh my god, what a fucking beast! What's he doing? Holy shit! Yeah, trying trying to exploit me, I guess. Yeah, um, I think it. I think like again, I couldn't actually check the hand, but he's not losing any EV. 
like according to the really scuffed available sim that I could make, he's not losing any EV doing this. So nice. Wait, what do you mean Ace Ten? I mean, how has he found this? Um, uh, he's he's very good. It's quite funny because he ended up having a ten and an ace, which is what we were splitting between whether it was better yeah. to have or not. Like so. I guess it just doesn't matter. Just <laughs> flick it in because this guy's nuts. Um, I have no idea, man. Um, but I, I guess I guess not all the time rolling for it. I'm going with no pun because this was probably one of the most interesting hands I've ever seen, I have to say. Um, how do you feel about that post, post hand? Like, were you just like <laughs> sitting out yeah, after just like, I what's like, happened? <laughs> I really like the call after I see a Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see Queen Jack, I really hate the call. So. <laughs> Oh, I can't imagine how bad it would have felt to call off here with like Queen Jack because you have no idea what's going on. So when he has yeah. Queen Jack and then just be like, okay, well, that's four and a half K. I'm never going to see again. <laughs> yeah. But there it is in our stack. You fucking love to see it, man. Um, I love to see the ace 10. I don't like to see the Queen Jack. No, you don't like to see the shove either on the river. But we, we figured it out. We got there. We rolled and it's got to be in there somewhere as a call. We rolled and got lucky. I'm yeah. going to go with that one. Yeah, let's go with that. Sure. We take those, Jared, man. We but you don't those. think it's a punt, so that's good. No, I'm going with no punt. You're 2-1 up. And what we're going to do, guys, is because of how long that hand in particular took, and I try to keep the episodes below an hour, I'm not, I'm not convinced the next one's going to be below an hour <laughs> based on what we've seen so far. Um, but I'm sure you guys I'm sure you guys don't mind because this has been very, very valuable so far. Jared, man, we're going to take a break for part one. Um, we're going to crack on with, with part two, but... Thank you so much for this first part, man. This is incredible stuff, and I really appreciate appreciate you taking the time out of your schedule to play. Are you enjoying it so far? Yeah, it's fun. We're going to go and do four more hands, guys, and you'll see them in a few weeks' time, depending on the schedule. Um, but for now, that's going to do it. Um, take care, stay safe, and I will see you guys for part two. Bye-bye.